So you have decided to use tiger brokers after being seduced by the low fees. Or maybe you have just randomly stumbled into this video. Either way, welcome to my channel, Kelvin here. The other day, I made a detailed review of tiger brokers and in the video, someone commented that I should make a tutorial so that I will earn more sign up referrals. Nonsense, do you think I'm just a pro YouTuber with only 2000 subscribers and that I'll be bribed by $100 stock vouchers for every sign up? Yes, yes I am. That's why in this video, I'll be teaching you how to use Tiger Brokers, how to sign up, fund your account, and buy stocks. There's a lot to talk about, so let's start right now. Signing up is pretty simple. All you got to do is scroll down to the description, then click the Tiger Brokers link to sign up. So simple, if you have a SingPass account, it will auto-fill most things for you, and the sign up process will take less than 10 minutes. But otherwise, it will take slightly longer. After submitting the application, they mentioned that it would take about one working day to complete. But for me, it was about 12 hours, so let's jump forward by 12 hours. The next day. Congratulations, you have opened your Tiger Brokers account. Now, you are ready to buy Tesla stock and become a millionaire by tomorrow. Not true story. Before you buy your stock, the first thing you need to do is transfer money into your Tiger Brokers account. That, that's how you buy anything. You need money. A super important point to remember. When you first transfer money in, how much stock voucher you get will depend on how much money you transfer in. For example, if you transfer in $2,001, you only get $30 stock voucher. But if you transfer $30,001, you will get $100 stock voucher. Now, let's talk about how to transfer money in. First, go to Tiger Brokers website. Click on my account. Click deposit. Select your currency and bank. Take note of the recipient bank account number. I'm using POSB, so I'll be demoing with POSB. But you can use any banks you want to. Alright, as you can see, we are in POSB now. Click Transfer, Add New DBS or POSB Recipient. For recipient name, you can fill in Tiger Brokers. For recipient account number, get the account number from Tiger Brokers just now. Then click Next, then click Submit. Next, click Transfer, then click Transfer to DBS or POSB Recipient. For recipient account, choose Tiger Brokers. Choose SGD, choose my account, currency, then fill in how much you want to transfer over. Remember to screenshot your transaction because Tiger Brokers will need it later. Let's head back to Tiger Brokers website. Click Funds Remitted, inform Tiger to check. Choose SGD as remittance currency, how much you send over, and type in your bank account number. Upload your screenshot, then submit it. Now, you'll just have to wait for your money to arrive. Typically, it will take less than one hour, so let's fast forward by one hour. One hour later. Alright, now that your account has money, now you are ready to buy stocks and tap the like button to help support the channel. Download Tiger Brokers Client, then open it. The first thing you want to do is to bookmark your stock so that you don't have to keep searching for it. At the top left, type in Tesla to search for it. To bookmark, click on this small star icon and now it is bookmarked. To buy a stock, you will first have to click the stock here, then go all the way to the bottom right side, click on the buy long button. Then, make sure that the buy button is clicked. I'll give a quick explanation for each order type. For limit order, you can specify what price you want to buy. For example, let's say Tesla is $500 now, but you don't want to buy at $500. Instead, you only want to buy at $400. So at limit price, you enter in $400 limit price. But you don't want to buy at $500. Instead, you only want to buy at $400. So at limit price, you enter in $400. And if Tesla drops to $400, congratulations, your order gets matched at $400. However, the problem with limit order is, if your limit price is too low, it might never get matched. And if Tesla runs up to $2,000 tomorrow, and you haven't bought it, you will cry until no tears come out. Next, we have market order. Basically, this just say, I want to buy the stock at the current price. If it's $400 now, you buy at $400. If it is $500 now, you buy at $500. Okay yeah, stock and stock limit is mainly used for selling stock. I'll give a quick explanation on these two. Let's say you own Tesla stock, but you are super kiasu, so you don't want to see your stock becoming red red, but you don't want to sell too early either, just in case your stock price went up. Then you can put in a stock order, meaning that your stock will auto sell when it hits this price. If above, no sell. If same price or lower, sell. Same for stock limit, but now you can give it more specific instructions. Like, if the stock price hits this price, you want to sell at what price? Alright, that's for the stock and stock limit. I will change it back to market because that's how I normally buy my stock. I don't like to time the price, but if you want to, you can choose limit order instead. Enter in the quantity, like 1 million, 
Just kidding, I sell house, sell organ, also don't have that much money. I will only buy one stock instead. Validity period is day. That means buy order will expire by today if it doesn't get spilled. And you will get all your money back. Then click submit. If this is your first time buying, I will bet that your palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. Anyway, once you place your order, you can find them in your order section here. And if it gets filled, you will see all your positions here. If you want to sell the stock, just repeat the same steps I mentioned just now. But instead of buy, remember remember to click sell instead. Otherwise, you will be all oh, oh, And that's all for the buy sell part. Now, let's say you have made money on your stocks. The next question is, how to transfer money out? Uh? Again, go to Tiger Broker's website. Click my account, then click withdrawal. Fill out all the information here. However, here's some very important stuff. For DBS and POSB, there's no withdrawal fee. But for everything else, there's a withdrawal fee of $20 or more. I'll leave the link below in the description for you to check it out. So that was a quick tutorial on how to use Tiger Brokers. Hopefully, it is useful to you. Let me know down in the comments below what other tutorials you want me to make. Like, share, and subscribe as I'll be posting new videos every Monday. See ya!